Welcome back to the channel and a new video about speed skating technique and exercises to improve your own technique. Today we'll be looking at and working on the recovery part of the technique. The time between the end of the push, taking the leg off the ice and placing the skate back on the ice again. This is all about active recovery, pulling in the recovery leg and at the same time pulling up the recovery hip. Let's get on with some practicing for ourselves. But first, the main goal is to get as much of your body weight on top of the driving leg. I'm calling it the driving leg because the forward momentum is coming from the leg you are standing on at that moment. It drives you forward. We are going to practice the position we like to achieve during the movement. So after pushing, the moment the blade is parallel to the main direction, you actively pull in the recovery leg and swing it backward to get on top of the new driving leg. It should feel like dismounting a bike and by swinging one leg backwards over the saddle. The movement comes from the hip, so the recovery side of the hip also moves a little upward. Try to find this position and exaggerate the movement. Don't be scared if it looks a little bit foolish. Just practice straights for now and get upright in the corners. I've done this kind of exercises for hundreds of laps and I'm still doing them regularly. So don't go too fast, take your time for practice. For the upper body, try to roll over to the side you are standing on at that time. It is as if you were lying in the bed and rolling over from one side to the other. The spine functions as the rotating axle. The next level of practicing is doing easy accelerations on the straights, 100 meters, slowly picking up the cadence, which makes coordination of the movement gradually more difficult. After this, from the perspective of differential learning, it's time to let go of the focus on technique. The parts which were beneficial for your overall technique will retain automatically. That's the theory. Training exercises which have their focus on straights are obviously on the program now. So let's do three to five times 300 meter accelerations. Build up the intensity from cadence here. Try to step up the pace from the first to the last repetition. Make sure to recover enough between repetitions. It's all about technique quality. Next up, three to five 700 meter tempos. Accelerate over 300 meters and keep the speed for the entire lap, lap afterwards. Again, take enough recovery time. It's, bet, it, it's best to be as fresh as possible for every repetition. A training like this should take about one to one and a half hours, preferably, preferably closer to one hour. I hope you enjoyed the video and have fun practicing. And please comment if you have any questions or remarks about the video. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video.